by different things. Sometimes they're motivated by hearing great speeches. I have a dream, Martin Luther King. Sometimes they have motivation come from Vince Lombardi. Sometimes they have motivation come from something that a writer said. And how wonderfully insightful these successful people are. That motivates them. But they also get motivated by realizing how wrong and screwed up some people can be. Huge amount of success, and they're making comments that are just wrong. And what it helps them understand is nobody shoots 100%. You watch the great NBA player, if he's a shooter, he keeps shooting. Do you know how you know when you got a great shooter? He's missed nine shots in a row, and he's asking for the ball. Miss. Miss. Give me the ball. Miss. Give me the ball. He never stops asking. That's how you know you got a great shooter. Well, think about that from a motivational perspective. See, sometimes it's the right time to intimidate, and it's usually not when the person's making a mistake. We all make mistakes. The right time to intimidate is when they decided to make a decision that was right for them and not right for the business, the team, the customer, the environment it was only right for them. That's usually the time you intimidate. You made a decision that was right for you and you didn't consider anybody else. No, nope. boom, I'm going to intimidate you. Otherwise, if they're making mistakes, that is a great opportunity to motivate. Let me tell you a story. I'm sure you've all heard of the 1964 Ford Mustang, one of the greatest sports cars in history. It's interesting, Henry, Henry Ford <clears throat> took a young executive and he said, I'm going to give you a budget, I believe the budget was $10 million, to create the greatest sports car in history. But don't go over the budget. So the young executive went and worked on it, came back. Bang! There it is, the 1964 Ford Mustang. Probably one of the greatest sports cars in history. But he said, Mr. Ford, i got to tell you something. Mr. Ford said, what? Well, I blew the budget by about $10 million. I don't know if I got the numbers right. I'm not a car guy. But the idea of the story is he blew the budget. Mr. Ford told him not to blow the budget. Mr. Ford could have fired him on the spot. He blew the budget by millions of dollars. And instead he said, well, there's no reason for me to fire you now because I just spent $10 million on your education. Motivated him. That person was Lee Iacocca created the Ford Mustang. Actually, that person is one of the greatest auto manufacturing executives in the history of the world. But if he would have intimidated him, he probably would have gone right then and there. Instead, he motivated him by saying, listen, you were doing what was right for me, the business, the customer. You created the greatest sports car in the history of man. I educated you. It happens. Let's move on. Well, so when you're building your team, managers and employees, you got to look at intimidate, manipulate, motivate. You got to know when to use which of them. The bonus plan should be focused on the things that really matter customer service, sales, profitability. If I'm going to spend money to manipulate your performance, I'm going to get results from it. Intimidate should be when I'm
pissed off because you're not playing within the guidelines of do for the greater good what we have to have happen. Have your heart in the right place. Make decisions based on what you think are best for the team, not what's best for you. Other than that, most of the time, I'm going to motivate. It has the longest span. <laughs>